Hey everybody, it's Karen and Stephanie with Food and Family. We have got an amazing, simple, quick, easy, especially for you busy mamas. Yes, and this uh, is going to be a full meal in one little package. We are doing loaded taco potatoes. So like if you have chicken or leftover taco ground beef, freeze it and you can repurpose it into this on a busy night. Whole meal is done in one potato. Okay, so where are we gonna start? We have cleaned our potatoes. We've got large, four large baking potatoes. We're doing these in the microwave. So all about being quick and easy. So you're gonna have to put vent holes along each side. And once you're gonna do them two at a time because it's gonna take about five minutes, then you're gonna flip it another five minutes and do that until when you give it a little squish you soften you feel it soften now when you take your potatoes out of the microwave do you wrap them up in foil mm -hmm. i do and it holds that heat in and actually you can keep it a little bit longer sitting out and that foil will keep it hot all right after you do the holes just wrap it in a paper towel because they're basically going to steam in the microwave. All right, so while our potatoes are going. And then I'm going to scoot these down here while you're doing that, and then I'll be in charge of the potatoes. We are going to start our meat. Okay, that you should be able to see good yeah. down in that skillet. So we got one pound of ground beef. I'm sorry, well, ground chuck. I like using chuck. It's not as dry as ground round, but it's not as fattening as Yeah, ground you beef. need that like 80-20 ratio. You need a little bit of fat to give this food some flavor. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so we've got half, probably half a cup of diced onion. Add that. Mm. And then we got minced garlic. Now that we're good talking squeeze. Now we're talking. You get the onions and garlic going. Oh, I've said goodness. that so many times. Oh, you've got it. About a tablespoon, you said? Yeah, about a tablespoon. Oh, smell of vision. That is the best little tool for ground meat. And if you guys don't have one, Look at our Amazon store, and it'll be listed in the description box under this video. They're very inexpensive. I don't think I gave six or seven dollars for that thing, and it has been the well, It's a lot best. of flavor. Yes, it is. Especially if you need something ground up real, real good. And that's so. one thing about ground beef, trying to get it mushed up enough to use for your chili or whatever. Yeah. All right, so we're going to brown this. We're going to split the potatoes a couple of times, get those done, and we'll be back in a little bit to show you how we put all this together. All right, we are back. Our meat is brown. We're going to add our pack of taco seasoning. This smells good, just this meat and onions and garlic. I'm ready for lunch. I am hungry. We haven't eaten today, and it is um, 2.30. Yep. Yeah. Um, we're going to we get green chilies here. You don't have to put them in there if you don't want to. This is just what we... These are mild. Mild. Diced. And uh, so you can use hot if you want to. But uh, I think mild would be just perfect. That's good. All right. So this packet of seasoning calls for three-fourths cup of water. And we're going to let that cook up. And then we will be back shortly to build our potatoes. Yeah, because we're just just saucing it up right now with that water. It's just makes it mm -hmm. making a sauce. Okay. See you in a few. I'm ready for a baked potato. We haven't had lunch. No, I'm starving. So we've got these potatoes done. And you do two at a time. Wrap them in full. They'll stay hot. Those are super hot. Yeah. My microwave is not real big, so two at a time is perfect. If you've got a larger microwave, you could probably do all of them. Um, 
So now we're going to prep these potatoes. We're going to get them cut open, split, put some butter, salt and pepper on them. Then we'll put our meat filling and our cheese. We're going to pop them in the oven just to get that melted. And then we will come back after that and start building our toppings. But we're going to show you how to put it together right now. So, See, that opens up perfectly to make a little potato boat. Beautiful. You can make the smaller potatoes and put them on if you're having a gathering. Like holidays coming up, people are going to be having parties and stuff. You could make, um, like I said, the smaller potatoes and put them on your table. Go ahead and have oh, them yeah, do done. Oh, yeah, little appetizer yeah. potatoes. Yeah, just a little small. You can buy uh, petite size. That's mm. all you need. All right, we've got them buttered up. Now we're going to salt and pepper. All right, now we're going to just spoon in some of our taco meat seeds. Can you see what she's doing? I think you can. We're going to show them when we get them. Done. Yeah. Oh, that smells good. I love tacos. Love potatoes. If my niece Amy is watching, Amy and I are taco buddies. We both have a love for tacos. I can eat tacos every day of the week. Oh, yes. We added this up. What did I say? It was $12 for all of for this. For four people. And these are big potatoes. Yeah. But you're talking, for, that's $4 a person for a meal. Uh -huh. This is a meal. This is not a side dish. I mean, we spent all of $12 on all of the items to fix this. Yeah. I don't know of anything that you would need on this side with this unless you did chips and salsa or a, a cheese dip. Cheese dip would be good. So, um, but that's all you would need. There we go. We're going to pop them in the oven, let that cheese get melted, and then we'll start topping them and ready to eat. Sounds good to me. I can't wait. We're almost there. You ready for taters? We're ready. These have been heating up, getting the cheese melted. Pop Jones keeps coming in and out. He's hungry. He's working outside today. That's why you're not seeing him. We got a, um, it's not a cool day, but it's not hot either. It's just one of those perfect it's mild fall, fall day. day. So he's been out working in the yard. Oh, can we hold that up and let him see it? Yes. Y'all. We'll get some pictures of this. Looky there. Look at there. Mmm. Smells good. Yes, it does. Okay. So, I'm ready for a tater. I mean, that's a whole meal. Yeah. Right, we got Rotel tomatoes here. If you don't know what Rotel tomatoes are, it's petite diced tomatoes with green chilies in it. It's a little spicy. You can get them mild or hot. But we you drain them. Drain them. You got sour cream, and we are ready to go. Now, for anybody that wants sour cream on their potato, I cook with it, but I'm not a sour She's not cream, a sour cream eater. Fan. All right, there's yours. There's mine. Mmm, I can't wait. You want tomatoes on yours? Yeah, I'll put some tomatoes on it. Ooh, wee. Say when. That's good. Now, I'm going to come around and I, I can show you better. I'm going to come around. And I'm going to show you this to my uh, plate. Now, isn't that a beautiful potato? See if I can hold it at an angle where you can see. Looky there. 
Isn't that gorgeous? Let's go try it. Get a little bit of everything on that bite. For the, oh, did you see the cheese pulling when I pull that up? That's the best part. Mmm. 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 That's good. You have got to try this. Really, seriously, this is everything on one plate. You've got a potato as your base, then your taco. Instead of a taco shell, use it in potato, your cheese, tomatoes, sour cream. Um, and then you could use, do it with the chicken if you've got boiled or whatever kind of, even canned chicken. Spread oh, it up, yeah. add you some taco seasoning, you know, get it going. Chicken would be good. The beef is good. Wouldn't it, though? It would be good with chicken. Or you can use whatever you like. If you can't, mm -hmm. if you don't eat beef or pork, and I know a lot of people don't, um, use chicken. You can do anything turkey. Uh, ground turkey would be good, too, once you add that seasoning mm -hmm. on it. So my friend Charlie likes ground turkey. She was yeah. I used to eat a lot of ground turkey, and um, I need to get back on that. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed this video, and we hope you'll try this. What are we calling this? A loaded, loaded taco potatoes. A loaded taco potato, and um, we appreciate you joining us in our kitchen, and we look forward to you coming back again. Please like, share. Subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you know when we put out another video. See you soon, everybody.